Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This customer somehow managed to drive over a bowling ball and got it stuck between their oil pan and subframe. Unfortunately, the mechanic did not film removing the bowling ball, but said it ended up damaging the oil pan. Yeah, that's the biggest it thing. Might, it might be really jammed in there. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as it wouldn't start. The technician said once they opened the door and saw this mess, they declined working on this vehicle. This customer came in to get a new exhaust installed as they said their neighbors were pissed off about how loud their truck was and put spray foam in the exhaust and cut off the muffler. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as they just installed new brakes but did not tighten the bolts for the brake caliper. The brake caliper got caught on the inside of the wheel and did quite a bit of damage. Customer stayed screenshots off when powering the radio down. The person who filmed this said he's never seen any lift kit like this before and that this truck is actually driven on the roads like this. This customer came in for a service on their car as they said they bought it a couple of months ago from a used car dealership and wasn't sure if it was ever serviced. Unfortunately for the customer, the vehicle they bought is in terrible shape. The technician told the customer to bring it back to where they bought it from, but the customer said the used car lot told them that it wasn't like that when they sold it. This customer's vehicle was brought in as they think their ex-husband put a tracking device on the car. The technician found this device pretty quickly and also noticed that they had glued pieces of rust to it to try and hide it. The owner of this Jeep brought it in for an alignment after he said he installed a leveling kit and some aftermarket parts himself. That, well that bolt's too small for the hole. That one's not even tight. Customer beat the shit out of his strut tower. Bolts to the strut are falling through and not tight all the way. You can't see it, but didn't want to tighten that one. He said, and I can't reach the bolt, so I'm just gonna cut a hole in my frame. And let's do it that way. This customer had two tires blow out on the highway and drove to the shop. The technician said it ended up damaging the wheels, evap canister, fuel filler neck, some sensors, and caused a total of $20,000 of damage. When this vehicle came in for a service, the technician couldn't help but notice these model cars taped to the dashboard. And this customer came in as they said they have some unusual tire wear on their SUV. The technician found this bolt for the lower control arm to be backed out almost all the way and pretty rusty which looks like the customer has been driving around like this for quite a while. A customer had their Audi towed in as they said it won't start after he attempted to change the timing belt himself. After some further diagnosis, the technician found it to be completely out of time and that the customer had bent all 20 valves. The shop foreman at the shop told the apprentice that the cheetah beat heater needs to be cleaned, and the apprentice fell for the prank. <laughs> and just a reminder, if you want to submit clips that you filmed to Just Rolled In, you can do so on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.